going on guys i'm back with another episode of a tv movie podcast oh, still bad but anyway uh we got b-real 25 live feed update episode 42 last episode we saw jared he didn't use the veto this episode we see that jared does some damage control I, apparently Siri uh, went to his ear the other day. I didn't get to see it, but basically she told Jared, you know, bro, you got you messed up. You got to fix this. You got to fix this situation with Corey in America. You got to just fix it. So that's what we see. But before we see that, we see that Siri talks to Bowie and she cleans things up with Bowie. Basically tells Bowie, yo, I'm sorry if I was being mean. You know, if, if I, you know, let out all my frustrations on you and then... Uh, Bowie accepts her apology. Um, see that Sari tells Bowie that she never meant, she never uh, saw Izzy badmouth Bowie. So maybe that's a real reason that Sari's apologizing to make sure that Bowie, you know, doesn't target Izzy or Sari in the event that she wins an HOH. You know, um, a lot of people like to call Sari, you know, fake or whatever, whatever. But no, nah, I, I disagree. Sari's just playing the game, guys. You know, she she understands how how you know these games work, and you know it's not being fake. You know, I think people are confusing good gameplay and being fake. Like you gotta lie and manipulate in these games. You know, it's not being you know quote unquote fake. Like I think fake is like not being yourself. You know, that's what fake is to me. You know, but lying to people, you know, telling people one thing and doing the other thing, that's not fake. That's just you know being a savage. <laughs> um, but. Uh, we see Corey tells America and Izzy that, you know, he was skeptical about the whole situation where Cameron was saying that they had the votes to vote out Felicia, uh, you know, and then Co Corey's telling them that, yo, Cameron is still pushing the vote to go against Izzy and that he's very, you know, aggressive about it, like he's strong arming him and they just can't wait to get rid of Cameron, you know, as soon as they get the opportunity and, um, yeah, I, I just, like I said last update, that Cameron, bro, was tripping, bro. You don't get people to do what you want by by just telling them that this is what is going to happen and, you know, not actually having a plan, you know. Like, you're supposed to maybe actually have a meeting with the people that you potentially think you have, you can get the votes from, but he didn't even do that. He just said one-on-one, -on -one, like, oh, we got the votes. Oh, yeah, man, we got the votes. I already talked to so-and-so. Oh, Corey, it's... It's done. Eight, these eight people, yeah, we got the votes. And, like, Corey's like, yo, they don't got the votes. So, uh, Corey tells Sari and Izzy in America that Cameron, uh, you know, uh, was just trying to target Izzy. And then America chimes in and says, hey, yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know anybody that was even entertaining that. And then, guys, we, we saw we saw last like a few days ago, America was in the HOH room basically telling Cameron, yo, you're so cool. I love this. I am telling, trying to tell people to get rid of, of, of Izzy. So if this gets back to them, you know, if Cameron exposes the fact that America was in the HOH room, basically down to do this move, America could, could go right back to being a target, you know, because she is in the good graces of people because of the fact that you know, maybe Sari is just like not trying to target America right now and and telling her son, yo, chill on America. We don't need to get rid of her right now. She's a shield for us. And and that's why America's in a good spot now because of, of the fact that Sari's kind of like making sure Jared's not targeting her. But as soon as, you know, Cameron maybe divulges this information and maybe possibly Sari that she, America was down to get rid of Izzy or divulges information to Izzy, America could go right back being public enemy number one or two, dude. But uh, we see that Jerry tries to clean up a uh, house with America. And I find this interesting <laughs> because Jared is, Jared is just lying straight to America's face. Like, you just lying, bro. He basically saying, yo, I was never trying to come after you. I don't even understand why people were saying I was trying to come after you. He says, where? I don't get it. You know, if it was, if it, if I was feeling distant, it's because, like, I was tired of the same old conversations. F, marry, kill, you know, like, all the same boring conversations. I just want to go off alone, you know. I'm a loner. And, like, bro, like, Jerry's just pulling these excuses out of his hat. Like, bro, when were you ever a loner? When, when were we, we hearing these conversations about F, marry, kill? Like, well, what are you talking about? 
And then America's like, yeah, yeah, I understand. And um, so, yeah, that was basically the whole conversation. And then Jared says, you know, he pulls this another excuse out of his hat or this lie out of this hat. He tells America, hey, yo, I didn't use the veto because of Corey, actually. It was Corey. You know, I did it for Corey's sake. And America's like, oh, he didn't tell me that. Yeah. <laughs> like, yo, he <laughs> Jared, bro. He was just trying to get rid of Corey in America. And now he's basically just capping, saying that, hey, you know, I, I was doing moves for y'all this whole time. Like, why y'all mad at me? <laughs> you know, and I get it. Jared's playing the game. And he's, he's doing what Sari told him to do is to do damage control. But, like, it's funny to me. Like, it's sloppy gameplay. You know what I'm saying? It's sloppy. But, hey, it's the way Jerry wants to play the game. And people are saying if Sari wasn't in the game, Jerry would literally be out the door week two. And I might not have to disagree with that, you know. <laughs> uh, there's more talks, but I went to bed. So, <laughs> y'all go watch on else for those. This has been a TV movie podcast. Thanks for listening and watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bless up and peace.